All right, here you go. Matt and Ming, right off the bat. Uh, we're selling two different types of boxes of oranges. They're small boxes and orange box, large boxes of oranges. Uh, I tell you a little something about each of them. I want to know how many boxes of each you have. Variables are up to you. Remember, variables are up to you. I like to keep it with whatever I'm asking to solve for. So S, I'm going to have the number of small boxes. You want X and Y, go for it. And L will be number of large boxes for me. Again, I'll help you set up the equation. You guys are on your own after I'm done talking, solving for it. All right, uh, first thing, let's start with Matt. Three small, 14 large, total of 203. All right, there's my first equation written out for you there. Three small, 14 large, 203 bucks. There it is. And then you go to Ming, 11 small. Eleven large, two twenty. Total of two twenty. So there are my two equations. Now I will say this because I have not done if any of this with you guys. What we've been used to is I'm just going to multiply one of the equations by a number to eliminate S or L, and that's not going to happen here. I don't know what you can multiply either equation by, so the S's cancel or the L's cancel. So if that comes up you're gonna to have to multiply by two different numbers then. Okay, I just wanna mention that because I don't think I've gone over any of those type of problems where we've had to multiply by two numbers instead of one. All right, so be ready to multiply by two numbers on that one. We're all good there, any issues? Okay, let me keep, just continue with me guys, you'll have enough time to go back. All right, enough time to go back. Let's go on to the second one because I wanna hit up all the different types. All right, so I need 100 gallons of this 50% alcohol solution. Here's what I have. I got a 30% solution and an 80%. How much of each should I use here? What type of problem is this one? Mixture, there you go. Need my buckets. Even though it doesn't say the word mixture, got to put two together to make the 50% one. All right, tell me about one of the solutions you have available. One's 30%. So in bucket number one, 30%. X. I have no idea how much I have of that. That's what I got to figure out. What about the other solution that's available to you? 80%. So 80% don't know how much. So I put a Y. Mix the two together. What am I looking for? 50%. But I do know how, how much I need and that is 100. I don't introduce a new variable. I'm not introducing a new variable. All right, here you go. Anybody want to help me out? My two equations that are going to be needed here. Go ahead, Nick. One. 0.3x. Okay, here you go. So we're going to take the tough one right away. This is the one I get nervous about. 0.3. Why 0.3 and not 30? You change it into a decimal. Percents go into decimal before you write it in the equation. 30% of how much I have. X plus. Keep going, Nick. 80% of how much I have. Now, before Nick gives me the rest of it, don't change the rule on the other side. Don't break it. Percent times how much you have plus percent times how much you have. Don't break the rule on the other side. What's got to go on the other side, Nick? You broke my rule. No. Point 0.3 times how much you have. Point 0.8 times how much you have. Point 0.5 times how much do I have? Times 100. Don't break. I'm glad you did it. Don't break the rule. See what I mean? Times how much you have. There you go. Everyone's good. I should have two numbers on that other side of the equal sign. Percent times how much you have. Or money times how much you have if it's a if money mixture problem. All right, and then what about my uh, other equation here? I got the percents. What's the second one got to be? X plus how much you have, right? X solution... 30% X plus Y equals my total, 100. Be careful, watch your writing, because I am involving decimals here, so watch your writing. All good? 
All right, let's move on. I got mixture. Now I got motion. All right, it can be a plane or it can be rowing. Uh, I, I don't think I have a different type of problem. So you guys see the info going against the wind and then going with the wind. All right, I'm going to go P and A for plane and air. Hopefully everyone's okay with that. So I'm going to let P be equal my plane speed. And S is, no, I just went up again. A equal to air speed. When I'm doing these type of motion problems with the planes and the rowing, remember I follow this formula, distance equals rate times time. That's what I'm following. I don't, I don't need to see it, but that's the formula I'm following. All right, let's go against the wind. What's my distance against the wind? 2,000 miles. So 2,000 distance equals rate. What do I do when I go against it? Add them together or subtract them? It's add or add, subtract. Subtract or add them when I go against the wind or against the current. They're going against each other. So they're not working together. They're going against each other. So I want to subtract, subtract them, yes. And somebody brought up a question last period. Does it matter which one I put first, P or W? Yeah, the plane's always going faster. So you always want to put P P first or the boat first, whatever you're working with. And then what about the time? We got one more piece here. What about the time? Five hours. Five hours, yep. So I multiply all that by five. Good, good. All right, let's go with the wind now. Four hours, same distance. So I'm going to keep the 2,000. But now it's going to be four hours. And when you go with it, that's when I add them together, when I go with it. And just a reminder on how we, I suggested we solve these to make life easier on ourselves. Instead of distributing five and four, how do I get rid of them? Divide them out. And then you can cancel out the W's. All right. We good? All right. Those are all the types of problems you should have two equations for. There's only one type of problem you should have one equation for, and that's my break-even problem tomorrow. All right. I think you're selling lemonade tomorrow for the break even instead of brownie bites here. All right, ready? Let's talk first. Reminder, break even. When do you break even? When your cost equals your revenue. Cost equals your revenue. All right, you guys go ahead, read through. Tell me something about the cost of making these brownie bites. Cost. Not how much I'm going to make. Cost. Throw something here at me. What are you reading about how much it's going to cost me? Cost 138 per uh, ingredient. Okay, 130. Now, that's no matter if I sell one bag, 10 bags, 10,000 bags. I still need, I still have to pay 138. Notice I'm not putting a variable with it because it doesn't, doesn't matter how many bags they sell. It's 138, no matter how many bags. Sometimes that's called our fixed cost in the problem, fixed cost. So no variable with that. Uh, I think there's more cost involved, right? I got to pay 138 no matter what. And also 35 cents a bag, right? Now I'm going to put V, X, whatever you want. 35 cents a bag. So right there, there's my cost. 138, you got to pay me that no matter what. On top of that, 35 cents a bag. Equal to, let's go revenue. How much are you making? 250. 250 a bag. So $2.50 $2 times X, which is their bag of brownie bites. I do want to solve this with you now because something's going to happen that has not happened to us yet. And I want to talk about it because it's probably going to happen to you tomorrow. All right, solve for X. What's got to move over? 0.35. Everyone subtract the 0.35X. I just want to show you a little something here so we don't freak out. So I end up with 138 equals what? 2.15X. 
And then you guys know I don't have to ask anybody here. You divide by $2.15 and watch what happens here on our calculators. I'll do it with you on my calculator. 138 divided by $2.15. I get I don't get a whole number. All right. You're selling bags of brownie buddies. You cannot cannot sell that many bags. 64.18 it's not happening. Sorry. Please don't write it down. Even if it was 64.5, you can't sell half a bag. Full only. All right? Full quantities only here. So here's my question. To break even with 64 bags cut it. Everyone agrees. I'm still going to have to owe money. Right? Everyone sees 64. I don't break even. But what would break even if I sold a 65th bag and I start making a little extra money? But 64, I'm not going to break even. I know it's rounding directions. That doesn't work here. 64 won't cut it. So it's got to be 65 bags. Okay. And again, don't write that whole number. Even if I said 64 and a half, can't sell half a bag. All right. A whole quantities only, please. Remember that tomorrow. And then last thing, can you go to the next problem? I'm not even going to set this up. I just want to make sure you're good with the uh, vocabulary. This is a motion problem, rowing the boat. All right. Just so everyone knows, when you go downstream, downstream, that's with... You're with the water there. And then when you go, where is it? Upstream. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm, yeah, we're good. Downstream, you're going with it. Upstream, you're going against. Some of you may have already known that. Just want to make sure we're all good, though. Okay. Downstream's with the current. Upstream, you're, you're rowing against it. All right. Uh, can you get your Chromebooks out? Here we go. Chromebooks. Because I not only do I have an answer Yay! key, but I have all work shown, too. And if I'm having you get your Chromebooks out, we're sticking to the answer key and no other websites, please. Get our classroom page open. I'll show you where to go. guys are borrowing a charger please make sure it's wrapped up and put back just don't leave it hanging please in the outlet okay once you get to our uh, classroom page you just go to classwork go to unit 8 for me find unit 8 under classwork and then it's the first one underneath there quiz num unit 8 quiz number one review there's two files underneath there you want the answers one unless somebody wants to do all their work on their Chromebook and there's a blank copy right next to it, but you guys want the answers out if you're doing it on paper. If, I don't know if anybody likes to do work on their Chromebook with their stylus, but that's an option there, but you guys want the answers open. All right, work together, whoever you'd like, but hey, this is you know what's on the quiz tomorrow. It's right in front of you. Whether you want to take the time to get it done, go ahead. I'm not, don't raise your hand. I'm not grading this. It's not going into Aspen. You guys have the answers right in front of you. Let's roll.